Okay. I've actually gotten uh my stuff updated, so now I have test. Boop. So I don't know how to copy and paste around, which is nice. I like it when I don't have to copy and paste. All right, one of the things, one of the like fundamentals we should understand when we're working with uh, money um, or currency of any kind, that we don't use, well, one, we can't use dollars, but we also shouldn't use decimals. We, should, we shouldn't update this to be an uh, integer and then use the two string kind of stuff scattered around. Now, money is a thing in our systems. We have to respect that. Otherwise, you're going to get your uh, butt handed to you <clears throat> later on. So we are going to go through and uh, break some stuff. It doesn't that, that doesn't that sound like fun? We are largely going to break some stuff by. Hmm. Let's just create a money class. Public. Sealed money. Should we write test first? All right, right, let's write test first. Boop. Money should exist. New money. It's going to take some stuff. Now, money's probably going to have to churn on itself, so we're just going to head and uh, get it in as a sealed class to start with. All right, I'm going to currently over. I hate overwriting two string. It just feels wrong. I don't like overwriting two string. Do I? I don't. I don't. I don't. What do I want to do now? Or do I want to do like amount? <clears throat> nah, I'll do what I normally do. Public. Um, I have a way to do it. A uh, string. Actual equals subject. I, I make it uh, convert itself. Uh, implicit conversion, which I, I enjoy. Not everyone's a fan. I sometimes feel like it's a hack. But. Uh, does it help? I think I call it a string. It's actually kind of smart on that one. You notice that? It'll actually give us a call to string option. But I'm going to use an implicit operator <clears throat> that will convert to a string for me. I don't like print. I don't have a good name for it yet. <coughs> really? We really want to go two string. Ah, my other hack. <laughs> As string. Um, yeah, anyway. I have other ways to do. This is a, um, a little bit of a hacky bit. Whoops. I don't want to cut that much. I have a different way to do it. I'm just not implementing it right now. So. And this will return. Well, right now, let's make it one dollar. And test will pass. Yay! And then we will do amount dot two string. We don't want currency. <clears throat> well, in the end, we don't want currency. Right now, currency is okay. Let's see zero. Ah, what's it do? It fails. Let's see zero. Ah, wait, no trailing. Alrighty then. 
All right, we're happy. All right, <clears throat> that's good. Now we have money. Now let's go ahead and actually add that. Um, <clears throat> we. It's not a fact. It's a feature. It's a very small feature. Um, added. If applied, this commit will add the honey class. All right, and now really what we want to do is we're going to break a ton of stuff. Uh, so what I could do <clears throat> to keep everything functional is I could add a new constructor. I could, you know what, fine, let's just do this. Money equals new money. Uh, try no. <clears throat> Double dot parse. We're gonna do our price dot substring of one. This will kill off that dollar sign. Uh, we're gonna create our field money. We're gonna rename it to price. So ideally, I keep everything working. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> I already have price. <clears throat> All right, I already have it. Um, and then we do price two dot. Uh, just return that. Ew, I'm returning my object. That is terrible. I'm not actually returning the object. We'll deal with that later. All right. <clears throat> I just going to return the money. Whoop. That's actually user tools. We're good. Let's also do this. Um, this is a safer factor. Um, Safe fish. And this is we'll use money go and actually kill our existing price. We don't need that anymore. And then we can rename this to get rid of the two. This will use money and not primitives. Because we don't want primitives. Okay. <clears throat> now we're using money. Fantastic. What we need to do now is our price. Oh, control R S using really sharper will give us a different return type and it will update it everywhere for us, which is awesome. We're gonna add that. Nope, sorry. We're just gonna say next. We're gonna modify. All right. Do our test still pass? I mean everywhere's green. You can't see it, but on the left hand side of this window, uh I have my end crunch test showing, so I can see if there's an issue or not. And ReSharp is telling us there's some problems. Let's go ahead and remove them from everywhere. All right, I still have money. I'm going to kick this over. I don't, I don't need, I don't need a method right now. That just seems silly. What did I do? <clears throat> um, this is safe for factoring. Um, we'll clean up messy code. Yes, yeah, it's a terrible one. Implicit cast. All right. Yeah, 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 crappy thing. It's okay though. <laughs> All right, so now all of our tests are passing, which is great. Money, I'm going to move into another folder. And I found out something really cool. I can kick things into a folder called source. And it doesn't update the namespace. I don't know if it's source specifically or lowercase, but hey, it doesn't do it. So I'm happy about that. Okay, um, now <clears throat> we actually need to work this up. So <clears throat> we are going to create, no, 
not basic. We're going to do this. So this is a uh, safe refactoring. Like I am keeping everything working the entire time. That's what we want to do. Ideally. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah I, I, it complains a little bit on occasionally. Um, Yeah, so I'm now going to take a money for the price. And it's still a string for description. And then I'm going to assign these to the values. Fantastic. Something is complaining. Run them all. Protected, keep that protected. Something's complaining. Oh. Oh, emergent test can't. <sighs> Sometimes I gotta rebuild because Ncrunch doesn't build correctly. So does everything run? Everything's running. I'm gonna jump to. I'm gonna use the built in test explorer because. Sometimes things are a little flaky around this. It's annoying. But we got seven tests. They all pass. Okay, I don't know what Ncrunch is complaining about. I will deal with that later. Right now we're using money. So now I can modify this to be a new money of 18. And clearly... Hey, let's, let's go ahead and... Uh, where does that restart? We start the Anchorage engine and we'll see if it <clears throat> does things for us. Now, yep, yeah, now, now it's happy. Fantastic. All right, now we're going to modify this also to be new money of nine. And everything continues to work. Fantabulous. Okay. And that is this video. We got uh, things refactored a bit. We're starting to clean up, getting more concepts into the code. Uh, fantastic. And we will dig into a little bit more. We still need toppings. Money will make toppings easier for us. Oh, and we can get rid of this constructor now. It's no longer used anywhere except in our fake which I will just turn this to money. And we'll go back to our merchant test with our fake. The new money of one. New money of one. And we are good. Okay, now we're good. All right.